The province has now announced its plans to overhaul and crack down on the towing industry. It's been a dangerous situation involving various companies, police, and especially vulnerable drivers for years. The towing free-for-all on Ontario highways may be a short trip from being over, but there are still some bumps in the road ahead. After consulting with more than 70 industry partners and the public, we have developed a plan that will increase provincial oversight of the industry and improve standards. Plans to regulate the tow truck industry, including possible licensing for drivers and equipment standards, are among the recommendations being made by a provincial task force established just last summer. Despite years of debate over what could be done to curb violence and criminal activity, though, legislation has yet to be introduced, and there's no specific timeline for making changes. This is probably what has been the challenge for a number of years is you've had all these different ministries that are operating and, and governing. It's part of it. Um, and so it's it's been fairly ad hoc and piecemeal. You've had municipalities who have formed their own bylaws. In the short term, the Ford government will be introducing a two-year restricted tow zone pilot program on six different sections of provincial highways. They will be limited to designated towing companies with an attempt to clear the road faster and provide reasonable rates for those involved in accidents. This approach will eliminate the practice of accident chasing within the tow zones, which has been a dangerous trend in the industry. Ending the accident chasing regime means people can take comfort in knowing that a reputable tow operator will get there to help them get to a safe place. OPP and other police services in the GTA have also formed a joint forces operation team to root out criminal activity in the towing industry, including the police themselves. Multiple officers from both the OPP and Toronto have been charged recently in connection with a number of investigations involving fraud and breach of trust. That in addition to an ongoing turf war involving organized crime groups, resulting in trucks being lit on fire and guns being seized. In cooperation with our law enforcement partners, the OPP will relentlessly continue to investigate criminal activity on our highways and our roadways and hold those accountable who break the law. Now, a public consultation did take place, but was only just completed in January, less than two months ago. Among the most common issues that were found, not surprisingly, were the predatory tactics on the side of the highway and being charged too much for a tow.